Bolt Art DIY running locally on your computer and we are using DeepSeek R1 as our model using LM Studio. This is LM Studio and I downloaded DeepSeek R1 in LM Studio then I loaded that inside Bolt Art DIY. This is the most requested video by all of you. Most of you wanted to use Bolt Art DIY but with free version of DeepSeek R1. As you know that to use API key from DeepSeek you need to top up some balance in there but most of you just don't want to pay anything so that's why I'm making this video for you. I have to mention here that when you are using DeepSeek seek r1 with lm studio it is slow than when you are using with api key so just keep that in mind but yeah i mean this method is absolutely free there is no cost to download and install bolt.diy there is no cost to download and install lm studio and there is no cost to download and install deep seek r1 okay first thing first you need to download and install lm studio locally on your computer just come to this website lmstudio.ai then if you are using mac download lm studio for mac if you are using windows download for windows and if you are using linux download it for linux i'm using Windows, so I'll simply just click on this download button and it will actually download and install LM Studio for me. Once you have installed LM Studio on your computer in your search bar, just look for LM Studio and click on open and this is how it will actually open. In here, just click on this discover button and you will find all of these various different large language models available for absolutely free to download. There are currently two versions of DeepSeek R1 available to download. Both of these are small models. One is model with 7 billion parameters, another one is with 8 billion parameters you can download any of these i have downloaded both by default it will set installation directory of these models right now my directory is my c drive if there is enough space in your c drive that's great if you don't have enough space just make sure that you choose a drive that has enough space each of these models are around 5 gb so make sure that you have enough space in your c drive once you have downloaded any of these models just go to this developer tab then select a model from here let's suppose i'm gonna use deepseek r1 distilled llama 8 B, just click on this and it will load your model like this then you need to make sure that status is running not stop if it is stop just click on this and it will actually start it running so that means now your model is running and loaded it will provide you this url it's a localhost url this is where actually this model is accessible right now so simply just copy this url now next step is to download and install bold.diy this is very simple i have a separate video covering installation of bold.diy you can watch that video link is in description but still i will just like give you a detailed guide here to access this bold diy github repository just open bolt.diy and it will redirect you to this directory if you scroll down here it has some installation guide provided in its readme file next step is just choose a folder inside your computer it can be any folder right click on that open terminal and then it will actually open your folder right inside your terminal then enter that command here git clone and then add url of this of your repository you can find this command in here in readme file of this bolt.diy repository. Once you run this command, then just run this command. It will actually open the main folder of bolt.diy where it is installed. And then after that, just run this command and then run this one and then run this command. I have created a separate video covering all of that. In, in this short video, I'm just focused on guiding you that how you can use DeepSeek R1 with bolt.diy. Once you have run all of these commands and bolt.diy has now provided you with this local host URL, make sure that you open it and once you will open it for the first time it won't give you option for the api keys then just reload it and then after second reload it will actually give you option to add api keys now next step is most important this is where you need to find that where you will have to add that model url that you actually got from lm studio this is that model url that you got from lm studio now you have to add that inside bolt simply just go to this settings button in here click on that after that just go to provide tab and then scroll down inside there is lm studio in here just provide this url from lm studio and make sure that your model is loaded and it's running and then that's it that's what you need to do after that once you like start a new project maybe and then make sure that you have selected lm studio from here and make sure that you have selected your DeepSeek r1 model over here now we can test that if this integration is working or not let's just give it a basic command and see if it is working or not please set up an empty next.js project so i'll just give it a command by the way if you are confused about like how i got this speech to text option so in windows if you just like click on windows button on your keyboard and then click on h it will actually pop up all right please set up an empty next or just project i'll just click on enter and now it will start creating an next or just project now 
the problem is that I, that I mentioned in the beginning of this video that it is slow. I mean, if you if you don't want to pay at all for DeepSeek R1 API key, so of course you can use uh, like the local version, but it is slow. I mean, I'm just telling you that it is slow. So now it is creating that, but you can see this is the speed that I mentioned in the beginning that it is slow. If you can afford, I mean, if you can ha if you have enough time to like create something with this speed for sure you can go ahead if you have a computer with a better specifications like like i don't know like rtx 4090 if you have so sure it, it the speed of this model will be faster i got rtx 2060 it's a 6 gbs so you can see the usage of my gpu right now so this is my dedicated gpu memory 6 gb all of it is being used my shared memory is being used so yeah so i mean with this specs this is the speed of deep sea car one that i got and this is actually a smaller model comparatively it's uh, right now you can see like it is running and it is like showing this that it is generating and this is a smaller model it's a 7 billion parameter but this is good enough like model once it once it writes that code or writes like good code but the only problem is it is slow so yeah this was much requested video i really hope that now you know that how you can use deep seek r1 with bolta diy if you have any further questions please leave a comment and and if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Our goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers before 30th of June 2020.